Good evening from the kingdom of balance. Sorry, I'm just a little out of it today. Um, we're doing day 81 of um, streaming about 1200 games from the bundle for racial justice and equality. Today we're looking at game number 241, uh, Loop. Uh, how do you pronounce that? Loop Pulsifer. Loop Pulsifer's Doomstar by Large Visible Machine. Game number 242, Steam Marines by Worthless Bums. Game number 243, Breakout by Fisher. Um, this is part of my racial justice but, um, streams that I do on Mondays and Fridays at 8 p.m. Pacific. So, let's check the chat now. Um, hey, Shelly. You're just lurking? That's good. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I had no very, I have very little idea about the games we're going into today. So they may be all over the place. The only one that I know a little bit about is the second game, which is the, um, uh, the Steam Marines one. And the only reason I know about it is because I played the second one, um, a while ago in the, in these streams. So that's what we're looking at today. Up. Uh, so for our first game coming up now is Lou Pulsifer's uh, Lou Pulsifer's Doomstar by Large Visible Machine. You can get to their profile at largevisiblemachine.h.io. I'm going to take a look and we're going to read about it first um, before we get further into it. Uh, we have, let's check on, let's switch on my game capture. There we go. Still using my old logo there. <laughs> okay. Where are we? Lou Pulsifer's Doomstar. <clears throat> okay. So it's uh, $10 right now, 10 US dollars. So it says here, take your starship fleet into battle and maneuver your way to victory in this unique hidden unit board game of strategy and cunning designed by industry veteran Lou Fulcifer. Uh, Doomstar is a board game for two players where you have to devise a plan and use your cunning to locate your opponent's command ship and destroy it uh, to win the game. The identity of the player's ship is visible to him but not to his opponent, and different pieces have different cap capabilities and movement rules, which creates a tense and deeply tactical affair. Learn the game by battling four different opponents in the single-player campaign. Play against friends or online opponents with fully asynchronous online multiplayer. Multiple ships 
types with unique abilities and tactics. Customize your fleet and board for even greater gameplay variety. Exclusive five song soundtrack from space composer Simon, Simon Heath. Um, Steam achievements and trading cards. The world's greatest space duck. <laughs> space duck. Okay. That sounds interesting. Okay. So, um, sounds okay. I've never played Battleship. But it sort of reminds me of that. So let's take a look how they implemented this. Good thing there's a single player component to this. Otherwise, I'd need more people right now. It's loading. Large visible machine. Doomstar. How's the sound right now? Is the sound okay? Okay, options, let's see. Okay, sound isn't too bad. I turned the music down a bit so the sound effects are more prominent. There we go. Uh, visual settings. Okay, good. Looks good. Alright, let's do the campaign. Oh, these are locked until... Oh, Space Duck. That's what they're talking about. This character here. Okay. So I guess we're playing humans first. And then these tank, uh, this will unlock these other ones. No, these look like cyborgs. They look like the Borg. They look like pirate Borg. <laughs> huh. Cool design. Cool character design. Admiral Ivor is the one that's selected. It says, his quote is, I'm no fool, you know. My plan is to strike quick and pull out even quicker. <laughs> okay, tutorial mission. Ever has defected with part of the fleet to wage war against the Unkong. The Unkong. Blaming them for an attack on an outer colony in which his whole family was wiped out. Oh, I see. It's a vengeance thing. We've localized a small part of his fleet that has uh, lagged behind. Um, we need to intercept and capture him. Okay. So we're trying to capture the defector? Is that what we're doing? Okay. All right. Um, let's play it. In Doomstar, the identity and strength of your opponent's ships are hidden and only revealed when one of your ships enters the same square. When two ships end up in the same square, the stronger ship always wins with the defeated ship destroyed and removed from the game. In the case of a draw, both ships are destroyed. Ship strength is displayed at the bottom right of all ships. The objective of the game is to destroy your opponent's command ship. This is the only unit with a strength of 1 and if it's destroyed, you lose the game. Ships move one square per turn and can't move diagonally. To move a ship, click on a square you want to move to and click again to confirm. Huh. Yeah. Just move one square per turn and can't move diagonally. If to move a ship, click on the square you want to move to and click again to confirm. If a ship uh, survives a battle, it's it stays revealed and you can always check what units remain hidden by clicking the fleet button. Okay, you can tell which of your ships have been revealed to the opponent by their color. Time is also of essence while playing the campaign. If at any time you fail to attack an opponent's ship within 10 moves, you lose the game. Oh, wow. So you can't just keep avoiding for 10 moves. You have to, you have to attack within 10 moves. Interesting. It's turn-based, but it's still count. The timer still counts in the turn. Like, so number of turns represent time. Okay. Select a ship and click or drag to deploy. Okay, this one is uh, really powerful. This is my command ship, I'm guessing. All right. Okay. 
Okay. Look who it is. The mission will be your command ship's last. Huh. Okay. It's cool that you can have dialogues here. That that's uh that's a potential for pretty good uh, storytelling. Sound is pretty high, huh? Noticing that the sound is pretty loud. Okay. So, we don't know what this one is. My weakest ship is this one. So, I can only move one at a time, so... Uh, my strongest is this one. I guess I can move. Apart from a Doomstar, a Dreadnought is the most powerful ship available. A battle cruiser, a versatile attack ship used to destroy fighters and carrier carriers. Okay. How do I move it? Select ship to move and Oh, it is moving, okay. It shows that it's going to move. Okay, so then we said done. Okay. Try that. Oh, equal. Hmm. Wow. Okay. That's probably the command ship. That's why it's running. They need that battle cruiser anyway. Uh, a man can be destroyed but not defeated. Okay. So he only has a command ship available, so that's when you end the battle. Okay, that's interesting. It's kind of like, somewhat like chess, right? Chess, you do that too. If the king is only the only one left, yeah. <laughs> Ivor escaped, but we're right on his tail. Launch your fighters and bring him in. We've received reports about movement in the Ankong home sector as well. Looks like they're amassing a fleet to meet Ivor. We have to stop him before he escalates into full-blown. This escalates into full-blown war. Light and heavy fighters are special ships that can move any number of squares in a straight line. Hmm. Any number of squares in a straight line. When attacking, you can also move two fighters into the same square and add up their strength. Ooh. Huh. You can always use your first move to attack and reveal a unit before you decide whether to move a second fighter. Okay. Keep in mind that every time you move two fighters in the same turn, both of these will be revealed as fighters to your opponent. Although he won't know their exact strength, Although he won't know their exact strengths, sometimes it might be better to only move one ship or even move one ship only one square in order to not give away any unit information for free. A nice, that's an interesting strategy. Okay. I'm guessing these are the light fighters and these are the heavy fighters. Okay. Uh, command ship, we're gonna put that here. Um, these are the carriers. 
Unlike other ships which will destroy by minefields, carriers will instead destroy the minefield. Oh, okay. And this one, okay, we'll just put it here. Um, the fighters. Fighters, light fighters. There we go. That's a good formation, I think. Hmm. Prepare to be destroyed, okay. Okay, I'm gonna just put them here. You move another fighter this ship this turn, but I can choose to be done. Okay, those two are fighters then. Okay, so that's one of those, this thing, okay. So, I can move here. And then, I can move these in to have a combination of five. So these are fighters, so they won't be able to stand up to these individually. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, so at the end of the turn, you need to help. Why is that one escaping? Good chance that's, that's the command ship, or maybe it's a diversion. Well, they know these two are fighters. It's revealed to them, I think. Um, so, what I'm going to do is put this here and then put this here. Well, they can't attack, they can't send two units after me, so I'm going to move this forward. This one's moving, those are moving. Okay. I don't know which kind of fighter they are. I'm going to send the weaker one after this to see if it's powerful enough. Okay. We're going to be equally... Okay, I'm going to lose that ship. It's okay. It's better to lose one than to lose both.
Okay, so that one's revealed. Um, how about I try hitting both of those? Does that? Ah, yeah, we can win that. Okay. Um, what's the best position to retreat? This here or that there? Here, I can target these two, but if. Oh, neither is perfect. Hmm. This shows up back there. They'll have to move like that. Most likely this is the command ship. Take on that too if we retreat there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that was the strategy they had. Okay. Can't attack with either, but I'm suspecting this one is the command ship. Probe. Well, what I can do is put this one here and then put that one yeah. here. Something like that. Actually, the, uh, I have a better option. Put this one here. And then put this one here. Then this is blocked. That's a fighter. That's a fighter. Okay, so this has to be the command ship. You haven't seen the last of me. Okay. Tutorial mission three. After your last encounter, Ivor is fleeing towards his temporary base, but some black holes are scrambling our deep range sensors. We dropped you in where he was last seen. Locate him and stop him before it's too late. Use the black holes to your advantage to strike quickly before he gets a chance to regroup. Okay. Black holes enable your ships to take one extra free move per turn by slingshotting around the black hole. The extra move must always be either clockwise or counterclockwise around the black hole and can't be used to slingshot away in a different direction. Multiple black holes can be used to gain more than one extra move. You can never enter the square the black hole occupies itself. Use the black holes in this mission to quickly move in on your opponent and take out his command ship. Okay. <laughs> nice. That's cool. Uh, we have a bunch here. Alright, this is our command ship. We're gonna put it here. Um, we have two of these. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm, I don't know about that. Maybe like that. No. That here. No, put the fighters there. There you go. Oh, I should have left that open. showed up. Okay, so the only way we can take this is using this thing. This has some really interesting strategies. We don't have enough ship left.
It's not going very well. Oh, that's a fighter, okay. That's the command ship, right? Mm, is that the best way to do it? No. to get to that one quickly. gonna go anywhere <laughs> this back and forth unless I can run him into a wall oh yeah there we go that was a close one Okay, tutorial mission four. 
Admiral Ira is refusing to give up and is making a last stand with the remnants of his fleet. Rumor has it that he's employed minefields throughout the sector, so beware and don't rush in. Move swiftly before he can launch an, uh, an attack on Hong Kong. Once again, you're our last hope. Okay. Minefields are static units that are placed on the board like other ships, but can't move. They destroy any units that attack them except for light fighters, who can pass through them, or carriers which are equipped with mine-sweeping mine drones that destroy them. If a light fighter enters a minefield, it will automatically continue past it and can attack any units hiding behind it as normal. You can also travel through your own minefield with a light fighter, but this will reveal the minefield to your opponent. Okay, I can place minefields. Awesome. Fighters. The last time I made the mistake of putting all the heavy stuff on the outside. Um, so I'm gonna do something like that. We're gonna push them forward. Or, we're gonna put them here. Yeah, I think that's more reasonable. I can put them there. And put these there. It's a carrier, was it? Carrier, yeah. That can go through a minefield, so I'm gonna put it there. No, this will destroy it. Okay, never mind. Alright, let's see. Damn. So some of these are minefields. Okay. That's a carrier. It's a minefield. Okay. Ah. Uh, this can't go through. That was the trick. Oh well, at least it's revealed now. to destroy this is to send this after it. So only carriers can destroy minefields, so I would need to go through there. Interesting. Hmm. Probably shouldn't have placed it in the middle. It's a bad idea. Both my light fighters are gone. Uh, 
that's a fighter. No, it's a... Oh, it used the black hole. Okay. Should have sent the carrier there. Oh well. Okay. Don't know what this thing is. Seems pretty heavy. Um, I'm gonna move just one bit here. I'm gonna move this. Maybe. Or do something super risky and go all the way there. Oh, minefield is still there. Okay. That's awesome. Well, now that you know this is a fighter, I'm just gonna put it right there. Oh, right here. That's most likely a minefield. Okay, that one moved. Yeah, I knew it was a minefield. Okay. Those are fighters. Okay. Hmm, this is probably the command ship. My guess. This is a six. It's possibly a six. Uh. Well, the only way to find out is to attack it. It's a five. I can destroy it. Could be another. What is this? A carrier? Yeah. This one moved. Hey, I could go destroy this. This is a light fighter, so it's two. I don't know about this one. But if I send two fighters after it, it should destroy it. Yeah, I don't need to move it. 
I'm just gonna move this over here to block that ship. Okay, that's a light fighter. We can take that on as well. Um, it cannot try to attack me through that. It can't attack me by itself. Maybe I should take it out. Okay. Since it didn't attack, I'm guessing this is a weaker weaker ship. I will try to take it on. That was a command ship. There we go. That was pretty cool. Alright, so we finished the tutorial. Now we are in the first real mission. In Kong. Uh, our sensors show an incoming Enkong fleet locked on your position, equipped with their new powerful unit, the Negasphere. They must have learned of the Admiral's plans and now assume that you're part of his strike force. There's no time for diplomacy. Meet them in battle and we'll sort out some sort of emissary later. In this mission, the enemy has deployed a new special unit, the Negasphere, against you. Negaspheres are great balls of antimatter with attendant guidance systems and are immediately power immensely powerful when attacking but easily destroyed if you manage to strike first. When attacking, a Negasphere has a strength of 7 but is always destroyed in the attack itself as well. When defending, it has a value of zero and can thus be destroyed by any other ship, including the command ship. Due to their unstable nature, they can all, can't be placed next to black holes, which gives you some clues as to where they might have been hidden in your opponent's fleet. To win this mission, you need to carefully place your units within range or draw the enemy out to make sure you are the one initiating the attacks. Okay.
Hmm. That's a battle cruiser. No, it's not. This is a battle cruiser. Um, this is a carrier. That's right. No, it's not frozen. I'm, I'm just thinking a lot. I'm pretty sure it's not frozen. Let me check the stream. <laughs> no, I was just thinking really deeply. Yeah, I made some mistakes in the last few missions, so I'm trying to... See if I can avoid them somehow. Okay, we can't do symmetry. That's just not working. Still end up doing symmetry, but different symmetry. Okay, let's see if this works. Damn. I don't know what they're saying because we haven't learned their language apparently. Is this a peaceful thing or not? So there's negasphere somewhere. So these three are not negaspheres, but these two could be, and any of these could be. Um, if I go aggressive, I might lose the ship, but. I'll reveal what this is. Unless it's a minefield. Oh, okay. I will lose if I don't attack. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm going to retreat the tree. Yeah. Ah, that's the negosphere. Damn. So I can deploy the same tactic on this side. We don't need to because negaspheres are... I can just attack it. Um... Another one. Crap. moved only one unit. Okay, let's 
let's try that. Damn, that was a minefield. Well, I lost that. This is moving only one spot. That is suspicious. Hmm. Well, this can destroy the minefield. Okay, that looks pretty heavy. Whatever it is. We're gonna try to take it from two sides. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Hee <laughs> hee. That was a neat trick. Okay, so this can destroy the mines, at least. Damn. Okay. This could be a minefield as a trick. heavy fighter so we can't really well if these want to take each other out I don't mind or this might actually try doing things, so I'm gonna move it away somewhere, maybe? You know what? I'm just gonna leave it alone. Let's try... Move this out of the way. And then try to take that from both sides. come here and this can come here okay it moved escaping um, that's probably a minefield I'm gonna these are this could be minefields too hmm. how many minefields does do they have I know we took one out we took out like three negaspheres I think hmm a lot to think about that one is trying to just stay safe it seems My carrier is gone, so I can't even... 
Yeah, no, that's not going to work. If it wants to attack me, it can. I'll just take out take it out in the next turn. Okay, so if it doesn't want to attack me, I can move further away, I guess. Okay, I'm going to sacrifice this one going this way. Okay, that has a chance to be both a battle cruiser and uh, and the command ship. So, I'm going to try to get to that one. take a long time. Um, I'm just gonna come here. Okay, it's not trying to protect this. She tells me it might be way too powerful. I don't know. Let's try it out. Actually, let's not reveal that. Let's reveal this because it's already revealed. Let's see, what is this? Okay, I can take it on. Okay, so this one is the command ship, or this one's the command ship. It's running, so it's likely the command ship. This is probably a thingy. Mm, let's join it behind. There. Yeah. Got it. Ah, the next mission is called the Doom Star, which is the name of the game. Seems like we got more problems. Another Inkong fleet has launched and is targeting our nearest settlement. The fleet carries several Doom Stars with enough firepower to blow up entire planets. It looks like it might might not be possible to avoid war, intercept the fleet, and destroy it at all costs. Doomstar is the most powerful unit in the entire game with a strength of 7. In this mission, the enemy will have several Doomstar at his disposal as well as Negaspheres, and you have to find a way to his command ship that doesn't involve a head-on approach. Apart from an attacking Negasphere, mines are the only unit which can destroy a Doomstar, so position these wisely and you may be able to lure one or two of them into attacking. Hmm. So pretend that the mines are a uh, command ship, basically.
know if this is any of this is a good idea, but we're gonna try it. Ah, okay. Okay, that one cleared. Okay. That could be a doom star. If they go into the mine, then yeah. Yeah. That was a doom star, yeah. Okay. That's another Doom Star, okay. I'm guessing this is the command ship or something like close to it. Um, it's probably a Doom Star as well.
That one's running, so that must be uh, the command ship. Yes. Got it. Huh. Okay, so that was the whole of the second campaign. Nice. Next one is Captain Lundy. Your cargo now belongs to me. Say what? Oh, really? Then, well then, prepare to die. Uh, one of our fighters' squadrons has been ambushed by the notorious space pirate Captain Lundy. Our command ship is carrying top secret information and is loaded with crazy technology that is priceless on the black market. Take the captain out and escape. Okay, I don't think I'm going to play anymore because uh, it's uh, I don't want to give up the whole game. As I'm done pretty much 50% it seems. So that was Doomstar. Loop uh, Pulsifer's Doomstar. Um... And it's super cool and really interesting tactics. They're like, it's like chess with secrecy. That's really, really interesting uh, design. So you can get this game uh, at uh, largevisiblemachine.itch.io. Here's the link again for anyone who, who are curious. It's like uh, $10 at the moment, I think. Yeah. I had a really good time with it. That was very relaxing and really good workout with, of the brain. I will definitely probably, I will definitely finish it off off stream. Um, yeah, music is back. Okay, so it's about yeah nine ninety nine USD right now. It's pretty cool. Um, I don't know how many missions it has, but it looks like at least it has two more scenarios. And uh, that's only in the single player version. You can actually play it with um, with your friends um, online. And because it's a turn base, it's fully asynchronous. So you can take your time and, um, you know, make your moves throughout the day type of thing. It's a pretty good investment, I think. Uh, for those of you who are really into strategy games. I'm going to take a five minute break and I'll come back with our second game. Our second game is uh, Steam Marines, the first one. Okay, I'll see you in a bit.
Okay, I'm back. Our second game today is Steam Marines. It's uh, Steam Marines by Worthless Bums. <laughs> uh, the, you can find their profile at worthlessbums.h.io. I've played one of their games before, which was Steam Marines 2. So this is the first one. Um, it's got a bit more simplified graphics, it seems. But still seems to follow the same tactical turn-based strategy RPG elements with sci-fi. I'm going to switch on the screen so we can all look. Um, where is it? There you are. Okay, so Steam Marines is... Yeah, that's what I was saying. I played the second one. So Steam Marines, it's $20 US right now. It's a squad-based roguelike featuring tactical play focused on positioning and careful use of resources, which is my favorite genre. Keep on your toes as you fight uh, through your besieged ship trying to reach each level's elevator. Features death is permanent and fallen marines are gone forever. Five marine classes, each with their own unique weapon effects. Four ranks and five perks for marine build diversity. Exoskeleton suits stripped from the hulks of dead enemies. Oh wow. <laughs> Challenging bosses that do not negate the tactics you have learned. Uh, new game plus. Cool. New game plus on a roguelike. That's kind of <laughs> hardcore. Okay, well let me just uh, turn down the music and we can take a look at this. Let's launch. Can this go full screen? Should be able to. Where's the sound? Huh. Set up. Yeah, full screen. There we go. Um, okay. Set up scores. Where's the sound? Uh, music volume. I guess the music starts when the game starts. I'm hearing something, but it's very low. I'm gonna turn it up a bit. Okay, that's better. Alright, let's do the tutorial. Oh, wow. That's compact. Uh, this is the Steam Marines tutorial, maggot. <laughs> the first thing you'll probably probably want to do is move around see the bouncing arrow pointing at marine uh, that's the active marine you're controlling you can move around with arrow keys try moving to the right arrow keys okay cool hey maybe the controller works on this uh, i'm not gonna bother hmm. it's not moving Okay. Maybe I'll need to... Hmm. Well, that's not working. I'm just gonna make sure the keyboard is active. Oh, yeah, it's probably... Fell asleep. How about now? 
not yet okay it's gonna be in my Bluetooth devices somewhere it says it's connected usually currently connected so it should work Okay, I'm gonna remove device and then we're gonna pair it again. We're gonna pair it. Did it work? No. Okay, I'm gonna pair it now. There. Okay. It's still waiting to be paired on the keyboard side. I don't know why it's taking so long. Still, well, this is a chance to switch on my controller. Okay. Okay. All right, keyboard's working again. I'll try my controller as well. Once I get back into the game, let's try it again. settings um, okay arrow keys and stuff oh there is Xbox 360 finds We'll figure it out as we go. All right. Can we move? Yeah, I can use the controller. Hmm. So you're about as smart as a dinosaur. Let's not leave your other dinosaur friends behind. Cycle to a different marine. In your squad with the tab or control keys. Okay. Hold up, Roach. There's a brute, a mechanical enemy. This one's pretty busted and immobile. You've automatically targeted by moving into sight. And weapons range. Uh, target as at max weapon range have a 100% chance to be hit. Remember that when positioning your squad. Destroy that brute by tapping 2. 2. What's 2? Yeah, that's guard mode, okay.
Okay. What's the shoot? Hmm. How do you shoot? How do you shoot? Do you have to use the mouse? Uh, tapping two and set. It's two on the keyboard. Is that how it works? Ah, this thing. What was that? I don't know what I'm doing. How do you reload? Uh, is that reload? Uh, what about this? What about that? Okay. That's how the corpse deal with uh, mechanical invaders. Remember that the real threat can move around and are generally hazardous to a marine's health. If a marine has action points left, guard mode Q allows automatic fire on enemies that moves through into sight and weapon range during the enemy's turn. This takes all of a marine's remaining action points. Finish the last brood at your le leisure with or without guarding. Okay. Excellent. Only took four of you to kill two of them. Did you notice you did more damage with each consecutive hit? Armor rating is a flat damage reductor, but it decreases as, as it gets hit. Also remember that ammo is a marine's best friend. Keep an eye on ammo indicator on the bottom right of your screen. Reload your weapon now by tapping R. Okay. What is the reload of... Hmm. Oh, that was reload. Okay. Ready to rock, Grant? I hope you notice that reloading takes all remaining action points. Also, okay, where are the freaking action points? Ah, oh, I see the action points now. I hope you noticed that really okay. Also note that after a brief delay, the next available marine will be selected unless you interrupt by selecting a marine manually. Brief delay. Okay. Um, your vision is limited by your... By your facing, you can change the direction a marine faces by holding down shift and tapping a movement key. Face south. Okay. No. I don't know what shift is in this case. Okay. I'm going to check the... Uh, the setup so I know what the things are mm. 
Mm hmm. Okay. Use elevator. Shift is that. Okay. I should probably use my. I should probably just bind the, all the stuff. Um, okay. So movement was this thing and facing different direction. Can we do that? Doesn't seem to be working. Hmm. Okay, fine. Shift up. That's what it is. Use elevator, cycle squad. Button four, huh? Zoom out, zoom in, promotion screen. Uh, guard mode is button three, okay. Main menu, pause is this thing. Where is it? I just pressed that, why didn't it work? Maybe it's not being registered. Still saying escape, okay. What's button seven? I don't know. Reload is button eight, okay. They only seem to use the buttons. None of them seem to use the triggers. That's interesting. I think reload should be a trigger and shoot should be the other trigger. Can we do that? Um... Okay, where is it? Hmm. I think it's best to just play with the keyboard. <laughs> given how complicated it is okay that's what i'm gonna do continue i think these were meant to be played with the keyboard so what are we doing now face south okay shift down there we go I have to cover cardinal directions like like in boot. The elevator is what allows you to travel between deck levels. It's usually your primary goal, not the enemy. The enemies are obstacles. Destroy or circumvent as you see fit in the field. Explore and find the elevator. Okay. Uh, the elevator is probably there. Yeah. Found it. Almost done. If your entire squad runs out of action points, the turn will end and the enemy turn will begin. Assuming you didn't br bungle it, any marines alive at the start of the next turn will have their max action points restored. You can also hit enter to manually end the turn. Okay. Look at your squad's action points. That's more like what you'll experience in the field. You can tell where the elevator is from the elevator elevator zone green mark tiles on the floor all you have to do is move your entire squad into the zone to progress animations will flash for each marine when entire squad is in this zone 
Get your squad to the elevator zone. Okay. There we go. This was just a taste of steam marines. You haven't even touched on enemy abilities, various items and weapons and armor, or promotions. Remember that interacting with the environment, like opening doors, uh, meet mailing enemies, smashing crates, using consoles, dispensers, picking up items, and smashing walls, is accompanied by simply moving into the. It's accomplished by simply moving into them. Press L to use the elevator and complete the. Ah, uh, tutorial. Okay. Okay, so let's try. Why is the sound so low? Can I make it higher? Yeah. There we go. We're gonna go with that. All right, let's try a new game. Bots cannot harm humans much. Don't slap the vending machines. You unlocked New Game Plus, right? Don't do it, Marines. Disabled. Okay, don't. Um, let's try the normal. We're gonna go with the. Let's go with the default names. Okay, so the leader class uses a shotgun for knockback, force multiplier to strengthen positions of a sweeper, laser sight, grants plus two damage. So long rifle for the copper, uh, for the scout uses a long rifle. Um, the grenadier uses a grenade launcher. And support uses a machine gun. Um, okay. Cryo sleep aborted. Adrenaline administered. Emergency hatches released. Status engineering. Unavailable, Captain. Unavailable, non-combatants. Evacuated, weapons free. Recommend sweeping to the elevator and descending. Okay. Good luck, Marines. Okay. Emergency, wake up with no flashing. That's a novel, eh? Training exercise, I bet. 100 credits says you're wrong. Okay. This is definitely a close uh, range game. So like you should sit in front of a monitor because the texts are really small. Okay. So that's the leader, I'm guessing. Oops. Okay, so that was the last one. Uh, we're in the back of the top again. Oh, you switch action points when you do that. Okay. Um. How do you go into guard mode? And guard is it G? No, oh, G is grab. So many controls that they're not obvious for me. Um, 
fire is Zed? Is that Zed? Oh. Um. Guard mode is Q. Okay. What was that noise? Someone got unleashed. How do you... There we go. Um... What was that noise? Oh, that's the elevator. Okay. I've done that. It's hard to tell which ones are. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. Is that the one that's selected? Yeah. Select this one. This one can go help, but not you. You can he move still? No, no action points. Okay. Seriously? I have only two left. See a huddled figure in the corner, movements decisive. You aren't entirely convinced the Marine knows how to use that engineer class weapon. You can't help but notice the large stack of ammunition on the ground. Take the survivor with you? Sure. We don't have many people left. 
How do I look at the character screen? Private something, I guess. That's enemy moving. That was a door? There's a door somewhere. Damn. Okay. How much how many enemies are in here? Okay. Just stop. Yeah. Yeah. Guard. Okay. That's this one, okay. And guard. And this one. Oh, that's not what I. It's so sensitive. Reload. Damn. Well, that's useless. The controls are so sensitive. When I try to select a character, it just starts moving. Two, two times up. Okay. Damn. Facing a different way takes up one action point. Oh, well. 
Wow. That is some restrictive. There's another one coming. Okay, so this guy has... He can... He can shoot, I'm sure. No, not you. You. Okay. You just... Swap with this person. You can go ahead and... Nice. Mike's being weird. There's so many enemies, and they took take so much time moving. Okay, we found the elevator. Okay. Okay, that, that went better than the first time. <sighs> uh, picked up a canteen. Your health is like terrible. Guard. Okay, so you found uh, some sort of weapon. Just stay there. Armor kit that looks like danger. We're gonna just stay there. Yeah. All the screen movement represents enemies moving behind the scenes. I'm not even touching the keyboard or the mouse. So they're moving in the dark. Yeah. Either falling on a trap or Yeah, they're landing on explosive tiles, I think. All right. Oh, we found the elevator. Oh, 
Oh no. Okay. Can he target? No. Okay. Got through two levels. See um, a huddled figure in the corner. It's um Take the survivor, yes. Okay. Damn. Okay. That took a while.
This feels like a turn-based Space Hulk. Space Hulk was an in intense, intense game. From the oppressed oh, tab Z to fire. Okay, nice. Good to know. Seriously? Uh, well, that's it then. Okay. Come on. Ah. <sighs> The controls are so not obvious. Okay, nothing's working. Why is nothing happening to that thing? Everyone just keeps missing. It's right in front of you. Is it because it's too close? It said something about the maximum effectiveness is far away. Why are you still running the turn? They're all dead. Wait, still someone someone's still alive? Why are they not visible anymore? Okay. Okay. 
I tried one more time. Can he shoot through them? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, awesome. Wait, that person still has action points. Okay, those are trapped doors, the ones with the weird symbol in front of them. The sparkling symbols. Okay. Two, three. Okay, we can maybe maybe make it one. One, two, three. Okay, we did one. Hmm. 
Okay. Yeah. Why didn't that shoot? Oh, there's a wall in the way. That's why. Third one, that's the grenade person. Should be able to get some. Oh, no, no, okay. I need to reload. Jamma does he have left? Ah, uh, doesn't say so anywhere. Oh, in the corner. Three, okay. You can do a guard thing, I think. So easy to die here. There's one ammo left, so I'm gonna put him in guard mode. Okay. 
really hard to really think about all the different abilities. Should have guarded there. Where is the elevator? Been on this level for a long time. over there behind the trap door Finally got out. <sighs> okay, both of them are trapped. Press the wrong button again. Oh, there's the elevator. Nice. Hey, if I don't talk, how are you doing today? I'm playing uh, Marines, uh, Steam Marines. They're like the, um, it's like a turn-based Space Hawk style thing. <laughs> it's, it's a roguelike, uh, turn-based roguelike tactical sci-fi RPG. Oh, that's a mouthful. It's really hard. This is my third time. I haven't even gone past this third level. 
It's it's good. Like I like all the mechanics. I just don't have time to study all of it. So that's why I'm not doing a good not doing a good demonstration. But yeah, uh, if I had a lot of time invested, it'll pr be pretty interesting. Space was Space Hulk the name of that game we played a long time ago. You have these Marines fighting these aliens in the long hallways. Yep, yeah, those that's Space Hulk. That's that's what I was talking about. So this is a turn-based strategic Space Hulk style of gameplay. Okay. There's only one health. Seriously? Seriously? Okay. Felt impossible. You were decent at it, though. I couldn't figure out how you did it. I think Sajia played that, and she was very, very, um, strategic. There was a lot of planning involved. Oh, it's going that way. Doesn't seem to be doing any damage. What's wrong with that thing? Or what's wrong with our weapons? Seem to be just pushing it away. That do any damage?
Yes. Okay, I don't know what the problem is. Damn, nothing's happening to that. How do you use inventory? I'm guessing that one is uh, leveling up. Um, oh, oh, these are items, okay. Oh, wow, that was cool. Um, how much health do you have? Six? Should probably use that. Okay. All right, so it is possible to heal. Just found out. God damn. Okay. All right, so let's heal that a bit. Okay. Good to know that healing exists. Okay, there they need to reload. Should have just spent the turn reloading. Both of them are. Wait, did, did I just level up or something? Yeah, skill points one. Good thing they're a little slow. Hmm. 
Did I reload? Yeah, I did. Okay, so promotions. Okay. So I can no. Uh, why did you? Why did you do that? Where is your grenade? Wow, you're dying. That was a uh, normal difficulty. Okay. We're going to we're going to play Yeah, we're going to play the next game in a bit. Yeah, there is a lot of features on that game that I haven't explored. Like I found the inventory at the very last minute. <laughs> I could have healed so many people. The text on it, like, it's not suitable to play on a TV. You should play it on a monitor because the text on it is really small. And if you're playing it on a TV, everything just feels hard to notice. Okay, so that was uh, Steam Marines by uh, Worthless Bums. You can find it at worthlessbums.h.io. I'm not insulting anyone. That That is their actual name. Um, then that's the name of the group. Okay, so um, here's the link to the game, to the um, to their profile page. They have two games in this um, series. I've played the second one already. It's a bit more um, easier to understand, I think. Uh, the view is a bit different. I remember ma making more progress with that one. Um, and what else? Uh, yeah, I'll take a five minute break and I'll come back with the last game.
Okay, I'm back. Uh, our third game is called Breakout with an accent that I can't pronounce. But you can see it's spelled out in the uh, on, on the top title here when it shows up. Um, I don't know what it's about. It seemed like um, it reminded me of Paranoid from a long time ago for MS-DOS. Um, so it could be similar with the twist. We don't know. Uh, yet so breakout is uh, you can get it at uh, it's by Fisher you can get it at smuggames.itch.io here's the link in the chat um, so I'm gonna load the page so you can read about it a bit that's still steam marines let's go to there it is turn the music down a little bit So, Breakout is, um, you come across an old game box. It reads, the H3 remaster of a forgotten Ensign Vic 30 classic. Breakout is the definitive block breaker for a generation. Newly ported with an original soundtrack by Sim, Simog, Simug. Yeah, there's two O's there. Okay, so they don't say much. And it looks like an old style paranoid game, but there might be something else going on based on how they presented that information. So let's check it out. Let's switch off the music. Let's see what happens. I'll probably use the keyboard for this as well. It's taking a long time for an old game. <laughs> for an old game that's taking a long time. Supposedly old game. Remastered by st Stupid Massive Unbelievable Games 2017. Okay, that's loud. Just a second. That was way too loud. Keyboard. I have no idea what that means. Rebounds, homing, keyboard, mouse. Okay. Colors off, colors on. Distort off. Uh, I see. Well, it's not that bad, so I'm gonna keep it. Hmm. Choose arena. This is the only arena I have. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I see. Oh, that's a twist. It's definitely a twist. Okay, no, that's too much flashing. Um, I'm gonna s change that. This order is off, color is off. Okay. <laughs> oh, sh I didn't see that. Oh my god. Uh, 
Oh, I see what the problem is. Okay. The bat itself is breakable. Yeah. And it's like floating as well. Yeah. Oh, it, it wraps around. Okay, good to know. I keep confusing between the falling bricks and the and the and the ball itself. Well, what was that? So really, the only time you lose is when you lose the bat. Interesting. <laughs> wow. Huh. Okay. So I'm not worried about losing the ball anymore. Oh, that's cool. Sorry. Oh. Hmm. I'm 
interesting. Nice. Awesome. Does that mean it I failed? Oh, I won. Okay. Whoa. What was that?
Hmm. You can do curveballs of some sort. close there's something up with this color thing every day it gets worse the neighbors have left so nobody is bothered by my coughing sometimes I walk through the empty apartments and pretend I'm someone else not them but just not me hmm Push a key to close. Ready. Uh, huh. Did they just restart the game? But it's different. Something is different. Oh, that's the third level.
Oops. What just happened? Oh, come on. I should probably stop pressing this spacebar. I'm used to pressing spacebar for this game. Or uh, for games like this. Because Paranoid used to use spacebar. Wow, it hits those bricks to the ones that are falling. Okay. Hmm. Do you remember the howling wolves while we ran? Were you s asleep? The trees were moonlit and glowing like the grounds of some Eden. Ironic now considering that for me it was more like hell. Hold on.
Got it. You're a winner. We're starting I remember the marching we would do. Always marching, mar never stopping. Almost symbolic of something greater than the horrors we were actually pursuing. Now, so many years later, both have left my knees weak. <laughs> the sentence, they just suddenly stop. on approach. Whoa, that's different. What's going on here? You weren't supposed to see this. No. Now you have. Tell me what happens next. 
What does happen next? What's that Y symbol? And you can't remember you own this and now it owns you. <laughs> Infernal machine. Now you're going to get me out. Oh, wow. I see eyes at the top of the screen. It seems I may be mistaken. Please, you have to help me. Do you see the eyes? I'm being held against my will. Yeah, I see. These people are savages. You can help me. But first I need to show you something Moving, it's like, oh. What is... I'm going to be frank with you. I don't entirely understand this. Sometimes I ask myself if this is death. Not that I could ever know. It's some sort of prison system at the least. I'm not sure how long I've been here. I remember... Joseph, he cannot know I'm here. He's using me somehow, I can't control it. This program, I think I can use it to escape, but I need your help. At least I can't do it alone. I will let you know when I find something. For now, see how deep you can get. <laughs> this one looks like, um... Space Invaders.
Oh. Hello. Are you part of the dev team? Because your name looks like it. This game is awesome. I used to play games like this um, back in MS-DOS days. Um, I haven't played a game like this in a long time and this was a really good take on it. Oh yeah, you're the developer. Are you? Did you develop it alone? Wait, what's that going on? No. <laughs> cool. Yes, I do like it. It's a really cool concept. Wait. No conversation this time? One of the best features is that you you don't have limited number of balls because that was one of the that would have made this really unpleasant. Cause the the challenge of the bat breaking is like is is really awesome compared to like losing the ball. Don't want to spoil mu too much, but essentially, yes, I did develop it too much. <laughs> okay. I like that the ball sometimes bounces against the falling blocks as well. That That's a cool feature. There's one more chat. The first version had that and it was really hilariously bad. Oh, okay. Well, good thing you removed it. It, I think it makes the game really a uh, lot more balanced and interesting. So how are you doing today? Thanks for coming. Also, thanks for including the features to switch off the color flashing and the distortions because um, otherwise my eyes would be really tired by now. Just uh, f last weekend, I was in a podcast that was um, uh, where I was talking about accessibility in games and I was saying that a lot of the indie games I've been playing from the bundle for racial justice and equality, and just indie games in general, uh, the indie devs have been including accessibility features like uh, switching off color flashing and all those things for people who, are, who have sensitive eyes or have epilepsy. Yeah, so that's really appreciated. You're working on a new game, like right now, you're working on another game? Hmm, okay. This looks like, what? Just... Oh my god. <laughs> now we're in a, like a cage of some sort on a train? Can you look around? No. Once upon a time, there was a piper who had done a service for his country. The countryman could not repay him, so the piper began to plan his revenge. Uh, 
The piper played his pipe with great、uh, skill and charisma, and the children came running. He sorted the children by size and then by hair color, setting some aside each time, and brought the, them under his wing. The remaining hinder were sent away, some over air, some under soil.、Hmm. Many were hungry, many were cold, and the piper's favorites left a generation of hyenas. Huh. A few were taken to pieces and put into boxes. And those boxes delivered the new age. Huh. Okay, I was working on a new game.、Uh, I'm working on a game called Paparazzi. Paparazzi. So, like, like news reporting with journalism with puppies? Is that it? <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Paparazzi. Is that what it's about? <laughs> oh, taking photos of dogs. Okay. Paparazzi would be a good name for a news,、um, like a, a newspaper with puppies. <laughs> <laughs> But、uh, taking photos of dogs also works. At least there are puppies somewhere. And、it's a cool idea to include your logo after every level because it feels like the game is restarting. That was a cool idea. Hey, Shelly. In case you haven't、um, saw the chat,、uh, you haven't seen the chat, the developer of this game is in chat right now. We are. This also has the. What? This also has the.、Uh, symbolism of.、Um, of Space Invaders. Except this time it's the ship and one of the aliens. Could be.、Uh, this is very different. Yeah. It wasn't there before. It, it sh showed up halfway, like、uh, near the beginning of the level after I started playing. And then now it's slowly disappearing. It disappeared now. I also like the wraparound that you can actually go around like that. Because that will. I haven't used it much, but in some, at some points, like you can't reach the ball fast enough, so it really helps to just go around.
I'm gonna, if there's any questions in the chat, I'm gonna answer it in a second. I'm just need to finish the level first. So store up those questions because I'm gonna answer them after this is done. not good. Ah, uh, there it goes. <sighs> okay. Uh, let's look at the. So what is this game about? What's the story? Uh, I haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> but uh, the, the game itself, Breakout, used to be a really old, um, like, pretty old game. Arcade game of sorts. I played one version of it in on on MS DOS a long time ago. So you have this stick and you use a ball to break those bricks on the top. Um, the traditional version of the game, you break the bricks and then if you lose, if you miss the ball, then you'd like lose it a, a life and then you know you have to keep hitting the bricks without losing the ball. But in this version, the uh, bat itself is made of the same bricks that the um, that you're breaking. So you are also losing portions of the bat that you're rebuilding with the built bricks that are falling. So that's a really interesting dynamic, first of all. But there's also something else going on. Every time you win a level, you get this screen, sh like you get a weird screen where something, some messages show up and that's kind of unfolding a weird story. Help me. Yeah, that's the name of the level. Help me is the name of the level. Um, so yeah, that's, un that's basically like unlocking something that I haven't figured out yet. Um, let me see what else was in the chat. Um, yeah, do, do, do. Oh, I missed something. Oh, she's uh, Ashel said, I've been lurking, so not really paying attention, but now I'm sitting down with dinner finally. Uh, Fisher says, this game is extremely different for paparazzi. Breakout is a very dark story from paparazzi. Okay, so what is this game about? What's the story? And I just explained that. You uncover the story as you play, but it's essentially a block-breaking game. Okay, yes, no, so no spoil. Let's not spoil. I like these types of games because I'm actually good at them. You're good at this? Well, you have it, so you can play it. I think this might work on your computer. Well, we'll have to test it, but yeah. Yeah, I remember as I used to play the old version. I think it's, yeah, this game, I, I, I find the breaking really satisfying in this one. Well, I lost that level, so I'm going to have to... Redo that one. Oh, I got a whole bunch of them. I like the old style music as well. It has some elements of PC speaker in it. Very, very, like, it's one of the tracks, I think, sounds a lot like PC speaker. And there's like a, there's instruments on top of it. That's a pretty cool idea. Oops. Somehow it's also very relaxing. Usually uh, these kind of games are not relaxing, but I'm really 
feeling very relaxed playing this one. I also like that once there's only one brick left, somehow the ball gets drawn to it. So that's a, that's a very useful feature because the, hitting that one brick would be impossible. Almost impossible unless you get really lucky. That was close. Okay. The Congo. We're in the Congo now. Oh my god. <laughs> that is terrible. Uh, okay. Oh, I thought there was going to be more there. Uh, it'll work, but I don't think I can stream it, but for sure I can play it. Okay, that's good. Fisher says, my brother wrote the recorded 80% of the music. This this is one of his tracks. You can find his music at... Oh. Um, dang. You have to mod it. Yeah, I have to... Shall I can. Shall I can. Hmm. How do you allow links? I forgot how to set that. Shelly's having dinner, so I don't want to bother. Um, let me see if I can see it in mod view, if I can allow the link. Hmm. There must be a... You can also whisper it to you and then you can set. Hmm. Yeah, I'm looking for the... I'm not used to my Twitch yet. Yeah, Rifna's looking into unblocking that link. But you can also whisper it to me if you want. Oh yes, that was a big deal. The PC speaker thing was a big deal. Or, oh, the wraparound, okay, yeah. Playtest went so much faster, <laughs> yeah, probably. His username is Sir Moog on SoundCloud. Okay. I think I, saw, I read that in the description of the game just before we started playing. Uh, Shelly can't at the moment. Um, that's okay. You, you can take your time. Uh, we can find him by um, using Sir Moog, his uh, username on SoundCloud. Okay. Sounds good. I'm going to keep going. Okay.
Wait, didn't we already play Thank You? Or is that... Mm-hmm. It slows down when the blood shows up. Okay. Yeah. In the old games, what would happen is, once the ball reaches the top, it would just clear out the whole thing. But in this one, I think it doesn't happen because uh, there's a rebound effect um, from the bricks because they explode a bit. So the ball gets thrown back instead of staying at the top. Well, that's, that's how I'm perceiving it, at least. Okay. That was a cool one. Oops. Must accidentally reset things. Oh my god. Okay, that's not going well. Come on. Okay. So 
So much of the challenge in this game is accidental. <laughs> no need to apologize. That's the nature of this of this type of game. The blood actually helps you line line things up when you lose the ball. I'm just collecting bricks now because, because I keep running out of them. Okay, so Rifna can't find the mod tools that that allows it, uh, but we're gonna look it up on SoundCloud. Actually, I'm gonna just if you whisper me the uh, the link, I can post it so that everyone else in the chat can get it too. Okay, this time I just came prepared with a lot of bricks. Come on. Oh, okay, cool. I'll take a look at it in a in a second. Oh, yeah, finally. Okay, let's see what happens next. So last time we were in Congo. Oh, every day I curse God for your beauty. I wish I had seen your home. You were taken from there so long ago. Though I know not your intent, I still fear your legacy is wasted on the public. Hmm. Okay. Oh, Shelly posted it. She found it on uh, SoundCloud. Thank you for doing that, Shelly. Yeah, so that link that Shelly just posted, that's the link to um, the, the, the music. I'm not wording well today. The musician. The music composer for the game. I thank you for doing that. So I played how many levels so far? About eight of them. That's good to be. Yeah, I'm wondering if I should uh, stop and not give everything away. <laughs> All of those words are good. <laughs> but that was super awesome. Like, I'm, I'm just super really zoned into it. 
My hand is hurting, though, from... I'm not used to using the arrow keys on the keyboard for games anymore. Yeah. No, I'm really into it. I just, that's why I haven't been talking much. Usually I, I talk a lot when, when the devs show up in the, in the chat. I get, like, I spend more time on them, but I've been <laughs> distracted by the game. It's that good. <laughs> oh, there are gamepad controls as well. Oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't try it. with the last game I played. Uh, didn't have very good gamepad control so I just didn't um, use it I forgot to uh, start it out for this one okay I just uh, activated it let's see here's another thank you okay I'm using the controller now Yeah, it doesn't look like blood, but war paint. Okay, that's a good point. Also looks like a skull. Yeah, the music is very different again. bricks. There we go. Explodey bricks that go to the top, they're pretty cool. They're very useful. Huh, that's a good one. Almost touched that one. Oops. I don't really need to catch the ball every time, but my habit is to try to follow it because that's what the old games were like. That was a good one. Oh, nice. Awesome. Yeah, some of us prefer keyboards, some of us prefer controllers. I don't know when we decided to replicate you or if it was even our decision at all. But once we began work, we were so enraptured, we never asked ourselves if we should continue. In all honesty, I fear we were simply young and morally bankrupt. Hmm. Replicate, huh? I'm at the end of the line, leaving these messages for you, for your bastard children. There is no recompense for the mis misery we created. God wouldn't forgive me, and neither will you. Hmm. You won't have to hear too much more from me now. The Kelkov 
Krebs finally caught up with me, but I'll always be here to limit you when your progeny grows grow too strong for the good of everyone. Hmm. What is it talking about? What is that? Uh, 1985 1985 huh is that when this breakout was originally created is that what that refers to Hmm. Is there an action button I'm supposed to press? Oh, oh, what? What? Yosef. Oh, I heard that name before. Here's what I'm looking for. Hey, that's the breakout disc. You've come far, dear friend. A bundle. Okay. Pin. I don't know why I still have this. Yeah, we crossed out Venture and made... The last project was overwritten. Oh, interesting. Really need to finish this. I don't know what key I pressed. Did I take it? Hmm. So it's not supposed to give me the thank you message every time? There's supposed, There's supposed to be several messages. Oh, okay, okay. Whoa. No, I didn't see any texts. Hmm. Those are minor bugs. The flashing you're seeing in the stream, that's uh, that's not coming from the game. That's coming from my recorder. Whoa, what's going on here? Something just changed. That's very trippy. Oh, I'm back here. Oh, it's empty now. Oh, there's a layer in the game disabled. Was it part of the distortion? Because I dis switched off distortion. Um. Hmm. I'm pressing all the buttons right now. It should not have been part of distortion. Okay. Hmm. Whoa. Is it supposed to get stuck? I'm hearing a noise, but... Oh, okay. Good to know. I'm hitting lots of buttons. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, a directory tree. I remember those things. Wait, I forgot to read. But it seems that I'm not in my prison anymore. Ooh, emulation file system. This is somewhere new and vast. Perhaps you are another jail keep. Hmm. But you are not my jailer and this is not my jail. And now I have an opportunity I cannot for forego. Okay. Breakout was written on top of another game. Hmm. The first game is still there, but it has been fragmented. Haha. -ha. I can try to put them together. Let's see what's hidden inside. Merge success, booting up. <laughs> See, the distortion is back in this. The scan lines are back. Should have checked the other side first. I'm gonna go check. No, the other side is here. Ah. Huh. The color seems to shift now. These colors, they're so much like the um, old, like, DOS colors. Let's try... Is there another path here? Nope. Okay, that was the only path. Down and to the right. Huh. Did we go through this one? Yeah, we did. It's the other one that we have to go through. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. This is... What is that? What is that? No? Okay. There's a key on the left. Got the key. Likely need to go to that door on the left. Uh, that we couldn't get through before. You may know what's causing it. Well, glad I could help you find it. <laughs> oh, it's not working. Okay. I guess this is the key for the big door on the... Is it this way? No. The big door in the main area. In the starting area. I actually work in QA, so... <laughs> Finding weird bugs is kind of something that happens to me naturally when I'm doing something. There we go. 
I wish I could tell you that my solitude is delicious. No immaturity, dear friend, but it's a lie. It is as painful as it was in my youth, maybe more so. The boundaries that divide idle moments and engagement are shadowy and vague. Whoa, that was fast. Yeah, this was a straightforward one. I knew what you were, but I made the mistake of keeping it secret. I should have killed you, dear friend. Then we could both rest easy. When I was concepting the game, I got really obsessed with Atari 2600 aesthetics, and so this section exists. <laughs> I used to have an Atari. That was so long ago. That was actually my first console, an Atari. False chair speecher, huh? Oh, that's the Congo scene that we were looking at earlier. You hate us with good reason. It was our own parents who took you from your resting place. But even still, I cannot repent for their sins. Hmm. Wow, this is really interesting. Okay, what is going on here? So on the right side, we have someone drawing something on a map. On the left side, we have all these bloody surgery and on the right side again we have that's an old computer system it's a tape machine isn't it like using tape storage and there's blood coming out of it and then there's these factories on the left that's polluting the environment hmm what does it mean Okay. Opening the door is getting much easier now. Yosef knew our emulation was never complete without something more complex than tubes and metal. So he used flesh. Oh. Followed him like children. We were ju just wanted the be wanted the better world, he promised. Not that it matters anymore. Interesting. I'm seeing a parallel between this and the Piper story that was being said on the train. Hmm. Oh, I didn't notice the hydrate. Hydrate. 
Thank you for the hydrate. Ah, okay, so we have like a burnt out forest. Ooh, footprints. And people following footprints. Hey, there's a wolf. Hmm. When I had come, oh, memory leak, incongruency, failure to load, venture, next level, recover, what? Am I supposed to like do all the flowers in order to make sure it When I had come to my senses, it was just in time. Yosef had not unlocked your secrets, and I intended to keep it that way. I carried you four miles towards the allied lines, baptized by the light of the moon. I staggered away with you in tow. The U.S. flag, Semper Fortis. Is this part of World War II? Hmm. This rotating cursor, it's very similar to um, the rotation of the cursor on the DOS prompt when it's processing something. The Americans wanted you so badly. Helping them develop new computers was a part of the deal, but I managed to hide you from them long enough for the contract to end. No one is safe from their own desire for power. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So they had to use like living. Ooh, damn. Oh, these are blood types. Mm -hmm. Huh. Well, that's... Huh. Twenty-one five eighty four. Does that mean twenty first May nineteen eighty four? Eventually, my contract ended and my former brethren caught up with me. I never wanted to continue the work, but they forced my hand. We began to design and test flesh-based clones. We continued the research using preserve. Oh, I'm going to go this way. Hmm. 
Sickly children, he calls us. Time to find out who is the sick one. Hmm. <coughs> okay. Yeah, I'm hearing something, but I can't see it. So there's a text thing that's missing. I'm near the end of the game? Oh, okay. Would something different have happened if I didn't go up with that square in the last level? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Uh Okay, that's that's very different. Oh, there's a limit to how much it can go. I well, might as well finish it if I'm near the end. Damn. Nice. Love the explosions.
No, oh, I missed a bunch. music is pretty epic. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> That's something different. Oh, come on. I think I'm gonna win this time. I love the red smear. Oh. Oh! I get it now. You can use more than two directions. I could have used the block to go up to the key. Can I, can I just continue from there? It starts off from the level we... <laughs> Fisher is going, no! <laughs> it's supposed to automatically take you to the end. Well, um, I don't think I'll be reaching the end today. Because <laughs> we'll have to... Play it through all that again. The save feature is so broken. <laughs> if you want to QA a game properly, you need to let someone who sucks at games to play it. <laughs> like, who's like halfway? So they're not too good, but they're not too bad either. Like, somewhere in the middle. And then sometimes they lose and you find out these things. <laughs> That's not a problem. Makes it interesting. I'm sure it's, it's something that can be easily fixed. <laughs> Fisher is like, congrats on breaking the game in a way I didn't know was broken. Well, I, I fulfilled my purpose. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, thank you for following, Fisher. Thank you so much. It's been super fun. I'm glad you played as far as you did. 
Yeah, it was really fun. I was uh, I usually don't finish games on stream, especially ones this long. But um, today is Friday, so I kind of felt like I had some time. I mean, it's what twelve forty six here at night. Um, so everyone's still watching right now. Uh, you can get this game at um, smuggames.h.io right here. While you're on the itch page, I want to share a secret with you. Okay, sure. I'm going to bring it back. Uh, there we go. What's the secret? If you inspect el element on the page, inspect element. Ooh, I could do that. I know how to do that. It's, um, it's... Can I do it? No, not through there. Oh, it's F12, right? Wait, this is not the website. This is the uh, on the itch.io app. Let me just actually put it on a Chrome browser. Gonna open my Chrome browser in a bit. Okay. The background image in full resolution. Okay. Yeah, I can just probably click on the image itself on the side. Oh, it's not loading right now. Oh, there it is. Okay. Inspect that. No, that's the div. Just a second. Well, it could be in the div. Let me see. Um, how do I make it bigger? Okay. So we are in the... Mm -hmm. Just saw the word image somewhere. Can see it now. Where is it usually? Mm. No, that's not it. It should be on the higher level, right? Is it in the header? Is that it? Is it a GIF file or a... Sure, I would appreciate the help. Um, just trying to, I don't know. Uh... Oh, layout has changed, okay. Okay, yeah, if you find the image that that would be fastest, I suppose. Should have worked. Main wrapper, div class, inner column. Okay, no, that's not what we want. We want the outer one. Hmm. Oh, maybe this is it. Is that the image? No. 
No, that's not it. That's just the logo. We're in the inner column. Hmm. Yeah, we want the circuit board, right? Is there another way to look at it? Oh, maybe here? No. Mm, don't see any files here. Okay. Gonna switch on the music so it's not very quiet. There we go. Hmm. Is there a way to search? Is it a GIF file or a PNG? Maybe you can search by that. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking at my whispers now. Let me see. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm going to paste it in chat. Because I'm allowed to share images. <laughs> Links. So that's the image. Uh, well, actually, I can go on my Twitch here. Get it from the Whisper. There we go. Now we see it. Oh my god, there's eyes in the middle. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, it's not something you would see because the thing is like, the main text is like right in front of it. These are the same eyes that showed up in the... in one of the cutscenes in the game. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, that's really awesome that this was included. I haven't seen a resistor in such a long time. It's so cool. And this looks like, um, it looks like a little, um, memory module of some sort. Like not, not a memory block itself, but more like a memory controller. Hmm. Really cool. <laughs> That's the secret. Thank you for taking the time. To yeah, you're welcome. It was really cool. Awesome. Okay, so um, so that was uh, that was breakout by Fisher. Here's the link again for anyone who wants to check it out. It's like, um, where's the page? It's, oh, you can pay whatever you want. So like pay a hundred dollars if you want for the game. I love the, I love it. Choose like pay what you want. Um, market marketing mo model is like the best way to do things. So that rich people can pay as much money as they can. And people who can't afford it can still enjoy it. It's really awesome. Well, um, so that concludes our 81st session going through the bundle for racial justice and equality. Uh, we looked at games number 241 to 243. So that was Lou Pulsifer's Doomstar by Large Visible Machine, Steam Marines by Worthless Bombs, and Breakout by Fisher. 
And uh, thank you to Fisher for joining us today for the last uh, bit of the stream. I'm going to do a couple of shout outs. Um, so shout out to Shelly for being here and supporting. And a shout out to Rifna for always helping and also for doing all the art for my stream. The avatar and the background video and all the pillars and everything was done by Rifna. They also have a Twitch channel, which I just uh, linked. Uh, last time they were playing The Secret of Monkey Island and we, um, I, will, I joined them. So I'm going to do that again at some point. And uh, Shelly's playing Stardew at the moment. Mm, and Fisher, do you have a Twitch channel? Because I can do that as well. Um, what's your username? Let's see if this works. Oh, you do have a Twitch channel. Okay, awesome. That's good. Um, and so we look forward to your next game, the paparazzi game, the one about doggies, taking pictures of doggies. Yeah, that sounds really cool. Um, oh, and uh, if you want to check out more of Rifna's art, it's in the, the links are in the bottom right corner, but I'm going to also paste them in chat. Uh, so here's the links to their uh, Pinterest, Redbubble, and um, what was the other one? Twitter. That's right. Okay. So that was our 24th, se uh, sorry, not 24th, 81st session going through the bundle. Um, I still have probably over 200 more sessions to go. Um did about 243 games so far, and I'm um, hoping to finish it all in the next uh, three years. <laughs> uh, six games a week. Okay. Um, is there anyone streaming that we want to raid today? Mm. Not really. I'm a bit tired. I want to get back to something, uh, some of my other relaxing activities. Um, so thank you all for joining and, uh, I will see you next week on Monday for the next indie stream. If I have some time this weekend, I might stream some of my other games, like the non-indie games that I play occasionally. I still have to finish Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, um, before they close the servers. So that's been a, one of my priorities in the next two months. Oh, Shelly, you're streaming right now? Oh, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna raid you then. We can go watch you play. Uh, Stardew. Okay, uh, let's raid. Um, oh, I didn't see you on the list before, but now you're there. Okay, well, thank you all for joining. Uh, let's go see Shelly play Stardew Valley. And, um, and I'll see you all next week. Bye.